the new awesome nav ball, which is kind of translucent and see-through. It's awesome, it just looks kind of nicer than it did before, because it's not such a blocky thing in the middle of the screen, and you can see everything through it-ish. As you can see here, as I pan over this space shuttle, we can see um, all the exhausts and the launch pad below. It's just a nice addition. I think this is definitely one of my favorite little things from the new update. The new nice looking mouse, which looks much nicer than a normal mouse, and goes green when you click with the left button, and kind of grayer when it when you right click. So it, you can really see what you're doing if you're impaired with a mouse or something. I mean, it's just a nice effect, and maybe it does something when you middle click, but the middle click on my mouse is broken, so who will ever know? But yeah, it's just one of those nice extra things that makes it just feel a little nicer and more like a finished game. The camera shake that has been added to the game, it gives it a nice atmospheric effect and when there's a lot of thrust on your rocket, the camera will start to shake as if it was being filmed. And inside the cockpits you will be able to see the whole thing shake around as if you were really inside it. Um, because in like the Apollo missions they used to talk about how you could hardly see what was going on because it was shaking around so crazily. So that is very cool that they've added it, it just makes it kind of atmospheric and nice and just, again, a nice little extra bit to the game which just makes it feel really polished. The new system for fuel flow, because it is much more like a real rocket now. The fuel flow doesn't change, it's pumped at a constant rate, much as it is in real rockets. What does change is the thrust of the engines. So as you climb higher, your thrust changes um, through the engines, but your rate of fuel flow does not. So you'll be getting more thrust for the same amount of fuel, so it's still a benefit but it is just much more realistic and very nice. It feels much more like a real rocket, which has been a complaint that I've had for a, for a very long time, just because it's, well, I just like realism. There's now a little button that allows you to warp right to morning, much like the ones that you can put on your uh, maneuver nodes. This is in the kind of um, space center screen, so if it's at night and you want to warp into morning, you can simply press it and it will warp itself to the morning so you can launch in the day. The mystery goo units are now much smaller, which is really nice because they've always been way too big and just hard to carry and made your pods look silly and were hard to return. So they've made them much smaller, so you can put many of these on your spacecraft as you can see here. But it is just nice, it's just an optimization, um, so it's not so cumbersome unless you do what I did here and just completely cover your pod in them so that you can get all of the science in the world. One of the biggest things in this update is that it now uses around half the RAM that it used to. It now uses 1.6 gigabytes of RAM, roughly, and it used to use around 3.4 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty close to the maximum amount you can use in a 32-bit process, which means it was prone to crashing a lot, but now that is fixed, pretty much, and the load times are greatly reduced, so this is a really great optimization for this update. And finally, Epic Mac 1 effects. Not just the new aerodynamic effects, I like that Mach 1 feels like a wall, and how better to illustrate that than to fly Odin Carrier to orbit as fast as possible. Now you'll see I'm coming up quite fast, and it explodes crazily, and you're like, that's not Mach 1, but we're very high in the atmosphere, so it was about Mach 1, and you can see it just tore itself apart, and if you watch closely, it continues to tear itself apart. That is probably how that would go down if you tried to launch something like that. And I like how the back just rips out of the carrier. It's very nice. I do love the new atmospheric effects and this has to be one of my favorite things. So I will need a new way of launching that carrier to orbit. It's a really big fairing. That's how I'm gonna do it.